Hey guys, Minecraft Rules 11 here. Today I'm showing you a tutorial on a new plugin that I just installed. It's called Locket. So, if you want to see all the plugins I have, just go slash plugins, enter, and you'll see that right now I have five. So, Locket. That's what I'm showing you today. You can lock your chests, wooden doors, iron doors, and furnaces. So, let's get on with it. Alright, so, just place your chest, and you'll get a message that says... Here, let me get the message that will show up when you place a chest. Alright. Okay, well, I've already placed this chest, so... You'll get a message telling you what to do, but I'm just going to show you what to do. So, what you can do is, you can place signs here, 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 or here. So, if you just want to have your sign in the front, just place them right here on the sides, here or here. Or in the back, where you could hide them secretly, shh, just put them right there. But I'm just going to show you guys how to put them on the front. So, you just put down your sign, put down a bracket, private, and bracket, just like that, capital P-R-I-V-A-T-E. Then you hit done and it'll attach and add your name automatically. Do not type anything else on the sign, or, well, don't type anything on the second line because it needs to add your name there. So then only I can access this chest or other moderators. If you are just a citizen, I and other moderators can access your chest, but nobody else can, just moderators. So, that's how you lock your um, chest. Now, your furnace is pretty much just the same. You can put it in these four places. I'm just going to put it on the front. So, just bracket, private, and bracket, and done. And then only you can access that chest. Or me, because I'm an, ad I'm an admin, and other moderators. So... Then let's get on to doors. Let's start with wooden doors. Okay, so a single wooden door. Just place it on this block. You can either place your sign on the front. And that's locked for you. Just you. So let's break this sign really quick. And you can place it either there or here and it'll attach or I recommend up here behind your door inside your house so people cannot destroy your signs so you just type again private and done and then you have that door locked so that's what that is and then let's do a double door Okay, so you have double door, like I said, you can either put it in front on these two blocks, or you can go around and put it on these two back blocks, or like I recommend, up here so people can't destroy it. So, just bracket, oops, private, nope, I'm just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> okay, private, and done, so that'll lock both of your doors. And if you just click one, it'll open both. Open and close both. So, like I said, only admins and moderators and yourself can open your own doors. So, let's see. Um, we've done the chest. Or you can put it over there. Furnace, single door, double door. Now let's get to iron doors. So, we've got our iron door. And, oh no, I can't get in. What's this? Oh, well, just put a sign down. Alright, so, you got private, locked, click it, bam, you're in. <clears throat> like I said, only admins, moderators, and yourself can get into this. So, that's pretty nice. You could really either use any kind of door. So... That's pretty much just a tutorial for this. Like I said, you can put it on the chest anywhere around except for diagonal. 
and then for furnace, same thing. And then doors, I would I would put it inside your house above the door, right there. And then double doors, it opens both. And then same with iron door. And it might. Hold on one sec. Uh, okay, whatever. It should open both iron doors. I'm just guessing though, I'm not sure. I haven't tested it, but it should. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Can open these, these, and this. Then you got the furnace and your chest. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial, but I want to show you guys something else. You can type in slash spawn and you'll be teleported here. And then you can read all these rules and stuff. All that good stuff. If you're new, you need to read these signs. And if you're new, you might spawn up here. And if you do, just go ahead and either go down this ladder right here, or just type slash spawn, and you'll come to here, read all these signs, read all the building signs, and then come over here and read the commands for citizens. So, we have kit starter, just type slash kit starter and you'll get an iron pick, an iron axe, an iron shovel, and 64 wood planks and then lock it, just watch this vid right here and then time, go slash time, it'll give you the time and slash spawn, teleports you right over there and then slash call, that will, if you do that like say slash call Hawkeyes24. So that'll send a teleport request and then I think, I haven't really tested this, but I think he can accept it or decline it and then you'll be teleported to him. So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, oh wait, I want to show you one more thing. So if I quit this and then rejoin, I'll get this message here, hello, your name here. The time is time and then whoever's online up to 20 people so now that's pretty much it for this video uh, there's one more thing I want to say I don't remember what it was um, yeah okay I don't remember what it was but just look at the sign Okay, I don't remember what it was, but it probably wasn't very important, so... Oh, no. There's... Okay, I just, I don't remember. So guys, if you want to join the server, just need to subscribe and send me a personal message with your username. And... With your username, and that's it, and I'll look at your channel to see if you're a subscriber. And please make sure your subscribers are available to look at. Oh, okay. Here's an example. So Hawkeyes, coming for a request to teleport, use slash bring name to accept. So bring Hawkeyes24. And he teleports right to me. Alright. So, that's it for this video. Just, if you want to get on the server, just send me a message. I'll add you to the whitelist. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video on the locking tutorial. You can lock all of your stuff up, but I'll still be able to get in. So, don't be hiding anything. So, <laughs> so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.